I'm on Viking's new expedition ship this week, Viking Octanus. It's been a great cruise, and one of the most extraordinary aspects has been the incredible access that I've had to the chairman of Viking, Torstein Hagen. He's very personable, very easy to talk to. You see him all over the ship, and I've already had several opportunities to chat with him, including about 10 minutes one-on-one -on -one, one day. Now, to give you an idea of what a interesting, charming, funny guy Torstein Hagen is, I want to play you a little video clip that I shot at a cocktail party with a bunch of journalists. Uh, various people were up giving speeches, and Torstein Hagen couldn't help but butt in at one point. Watch. It's a real privilege to be standing here with you, and indeed with our chair, um, as... Chairman. <laughs> Not just the chair, sorry. That's because chair. They went to... <laughs> now that's funny. He's not the chair. He's not a chair. He's the chairman. Anyway, he's got a, a very funny sense of humor. I was really interested to talk to him the next day. I had about 10 minutes with him. We had a really interesting conversation. One of the things that surprised me was to find out that he does not like to stay in the owner's suite when he's aboard a Viking ship. They have a really fancy high-end owner's suite, which I always assumed was for the owner. But when Torstein Hagen's aboard, he prefers to stay in the exact same kind of cabin that I'm staying in. It's called a junior suite and super comfortable for me. And Torstein Hagen is actually just down the hall from me in a cabin just like this. He's a regular guy when he's on board, very approachable. I've seen him all around the ship. I saw him getting a haircut in the spa. I've seen him in the buffet several times. Uh, just a real nice, approachable guy. It was funny when I was talking to him about this, I asked him, are you staying in the owner's suite? And he said, why would I? <laughs> and I said, because you are the owner. <laughs> but I think as a businessman, he understands that it's far better to have a paying passenger pay full price for the owner's suite and for him to stay in a junior suite. Now, one of the things I asked him about was Vikings future plans. Would they be building any more expedition ships? Well, of course, there's the one that's already announced, the Orion, that will be coming out later this year. But after that, he said no. He thinks that two is the right number of expedition ships for Viking. But there will be six more ocean ships, like the previous open ocean ships, same kind of floor plan and design, uh, pretty much identical to those. Six more of those will be coming out in the future. And then after that, they'll see what happens and see where they are. Now, Viking has uh, had a little bit of a hard time recently, as all the cruise lines have, because of the pandemic. And then now, because of what Torstein Hagen referred to as the damn war, he's talking, of course, about Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Viking has one of their river ships in Ukraine right now and five of their river ships in St. Petersburg, Russia right now. So it's a tricky time for Viking, but, you know, things are definitely better now than they were right during the pandemic when everything was shut down. Well, I have really enjoyed my cruise on Viking Octanus, and you'll be seeing lots more videos about it on my YouTube channel in the coming weeks. But the highlight for me was meeting the chairman, Torstein Hagen, and having a chance to talk to him. He's just a real nice, approachable guy. If you want to learn more about him, Forbes magazine did a really interesting piece about him a few years ago. Just go to Google, search for Torstein Hagen Forbes, and you'll find the article. You can learn all about the very fascinating chairman of Viking Cruises.